Welcome to the Alberni Curling Club, where these men are carefully performing the three man waltz. Well, I mean, it's not so much complicated, it's not rocket science, but there's just a lot of steps that, that you have to be careful that you do everything properly. Yeah, it's basically a three man operation. Two could do it, but it's a lot easier with three, so. If you had only two guys, you'd end up dragging the hose on the ice and making marks on there, so and you can't get them out there, so you're, you'd be in really in trouble. <laughs> you don't want to trip up Gord, right? <laughs> There'd be paint flying everywhere. <laughs> okay, okay. So these guys aren't really doing the three-man waltz, but what they are doing is a bit of an art form. You know, it, it's a weird thing. It, it's a, you can kind of compare it to being a chef. And, and when you, you know, you make up a menu and you feed a bunch of people and they just rave about the food. It's the same thing with ice. If you have a major bond spiel coming up and you do your best to make the best ice you can and people just love it, well, you're, you're golden. Now, the thing about making ice in a curling rink is that it really is a long drawn out process and you only have the one chance to get it just right. It's a very delicate process and you can't put too much paint on at once because it's not really drying, it's freezing. So it, it's different than painting a wall or something. So if you put on too much, it melts into the, the existing ice, which adds more water, thins out the paint and dilutes the paint. So it's not a great job. Step by step, lane by lane. These guys have a one-of-a-kind love for their sport. I got into curling way back, I think it was 1970. Uh, some friends of mine, uh, they dragged us in here, me and this other fella, and said, oh, you're doing this and you're doing this, and we stayed with it. So, yeah, it's 45 years now. It's uh, like everything else. It's a team sport. You know, if you, you know, your team's uh, curling well, you do well. If, uh, you know, if one of them falls up, so you've got to make a, a really fancier shot in order to uh, cover up those mistakes. I've been doing it since uh, I was 15 years old, and I'm turning 51 this year, so I've been at it a long time. I've done uh, briars, I've done Olympics, I've done all kinds of ice making all over the country, and it's nice just to settle into a nice job with good people, a lot of fun here at this club. And now that the three-man waltz is wrapping up, the community is invited to check out the club and try out Gord's new ice. For Go, on Shaw TV, I'm Jenny Fortin.